When we think of burial, usually the first thing that comes to mind is a sizable casket with glossy varnished wood, metal accents, and pillowy satin lining. You probably also imagine images of a graveside service where the casket is lowered into the ground before being sealed in with cement and covered with flowers, both real and imitation. That's what happens with a traditional burial. Green burial, also known as a natural burial, is a completely different experience. Early history of burials. There's no way of knowing when and where the first burial took place, because the act of burying the dead began long before written language. However, archaeologists and anthropologists have discovered numerous burial sites that were first dug tens of thousands of years ago. The oldest undisputed grave site that's been discovered dates back at least 130,000 years. As you can imagine, there was little sign of what's included in a traditional burial today. Although 130,000 years seems like a long time ago, the first burial may have actually taken place much sooner. There have been two other archaeological discoveries that may have been natural burials, although there is debate. In the Atapuerca Mountains of Spain during the 1980s, a cave chamber with the bodies of at least 28 individuals known as Sima hominins was unearthed. It's estimated the bodies were roughly 430,000 years old. There's also another instance of possible burial 263,000 to 335,000 years ago in the Rising Star cave system. We've also discovered that Neanderthals practiced natural green burials. Artifacts show that Neanderthal deceased were buried in the ground. A recent 13-year study confirmed the Neanderthal was not just buried there, but obviously taken care of by others before dying. The green burials of today are reflective of the earliest burials in human history. Many would argue they also have the same deep connection to the earth, humankind, and spirituality as burials during the Neanderthal era. Rise of traditional burials. The more elaborate burials of today are largely attributed to religious funeral practices that include viewings and memorial services. Religious beliefs and rituals are very closely tied to burial, at least that's been the case for the last few centuries. One of the most unnatural elements of a traditional burial, the use of embalming fluid, came about because of the desire to have funeral services days after death with the body present. Embalming, as it's known today, began during the Civil War. A doctor named Thomas Holmes embalmed officers who were killed in battle to preserve the bodies for funeral services before burial. In the years that followed, embalming became commonplace, giving people the ability to delay funeral services by days or weeks. Returning to green burials. In recent years, there's been a newfound concern over the negative effect of traditional burials on the environment and clear issues over land conservation. This shift in environmental focus, paired with the decline of Christianity and religious motivations, has made green burial an appealing end-of-life option for many people in the U.S. The rise in cremations is also playing a role in green burial. More people choose cremation today than a traditional burial. However, cremated remains are often buried in a final resting place. For the people that choose cremation for environmental reasons, green burial is preferred. Most green cemeteries around the country now dedicate part of the burial grounds strictly for cremated remains. Are you interested in exploring green burial and cremation options for yourself or a loved one? Connect with our funeral home staff and explore affordable, eco-friendly cremation services. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.